Sports and welcome to Motion RC. I'm your product specialist, Wesley, and today's quick tip is gonna be all about a battery checker. Now, it seems pretty trivial to a lot of us that have been in the hobby for a while to talk about this, but remember, there's a lot of newer pilots out there getting into the hobby of tanks, cars, whatever, and you're gonna need this item. So when you go on there, we have six or seven of these linked on motionrc.com. I have just our basic version here. Uh, like I said, link will be down below if you want this exact same item. Uh, but this is gonna let you check your batteries after flights or out driving to see how much is left in them uh, and then get those batteries ready for proper storage. Now, just to go over a little bit about a LiPo, you have what says 6S, 3S, whatever S stands for. That's the amount of cells that are inside of these LiPo packs. So the way you can do the math of how they label these, so this is 22.2 volts, 6S. So for storage voltage, it would be 3.80 volts a cell. So you could multiply that times six to get your overall storage voltage. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Or fully charged, which is gonna be 4.20 volts a cell or 4.20 times six to get your overall pack voltage at full capacity. Now on the little checkers, you're gonna get what's called percentage. The percentage is literally gonna use the overall pack voltage. So whatever pack voltage percentage is left, that's what it's gonna show. Now that's a little deceiving and you have a second button right in the middle that says the cell and it's gonna go through each individual cell of the battery. What you need to be kind of checking is each individual cell across a battery. So in this case, we have a 6S battery. So if I plug it in, you can check each individual cell uh, separately from each other. Now, what you may find is you have th three cells at four volts a cell and three cells at 4.2 volts a cell, and that means your battery is imbalanced. Then you can take this and plug it into a charger and use what's called the balance function of your charger to even that battery pack out. We always want to try and keep all of our battery voltages across all the cells as even as possible. So after a flight, if you have one cell that sagged down a lot lower than the rest of them, you need to try and balance it. If it won't balance, you may have an issue with your battery at that point. That's where these checkers come in. This is how you can test these types of things. After a day of flying, I always like to bring my batteries home and check them with this. Now, our target voltage per cell to put them away is 3.80 volts per individual cell. When we're doing this actual storage, we don't wanna go by the percentage of the entire battery because once again, we could have a cell imbalanced. That's gonna give us an improper reading for this. What we're trying to do is make sure each individual cell is as balanced and neutral as possible. You will have a discharge setting on any of your chargers from us. You will also have a balance, and then you'll have a storage. Storage is going to be what's gonna automatically bring those batteries from any lower than 3.8 volts a cell up to 3.8 volts a cell. Now, I will tell you, most chargers discharge rather slowly, so you may be better off putting it in your jet or your car or whatever it is, and just running it around a little bit more to get those volts down or run the motor, you know, at a quarter throttle on an aircraft and let it set there and run down that battery. Uh, there are also what are called battery dischargers. You literally plug your battery into it, it discharges it using the chip inside of it and the balance lead to make that battery go to that 3.8 volts a cell for your target storage voltage. Now, after you've done it for a while, you're gonna to get to where you're gonna just come down around those voltages on your flight packs, which you see at the end of all of our different videos. Something we also need to touch on on the little checker is it does do a lot of different battery types. Now, a lot of our chemistries on the RC stuff is gonna be LiPo, uh, but there are the ex exceptions to that where we're using them as a receiver pack, where you might need a LiFi, uh, you might still run a nickel metal hydride, 
Uh, you know, some guys run the nickel metal hydride in their cars and trucks. They run them in uh, receiver pack voltages and onboard packs. So the cool thing with this uh, is you do have a type button. You'll need to plug in a battery of some sort and hit the type button in order for it to change. Because if you have it in the wrong setting, it won't actually power on with some batteries until you hit that button. But you do have the option for LiPo, LiFi, lithium ion, nickel metal hydride, and nickel cadmium or NICAD as most people call it. So like I said, that's kind of the checker. It's really simple. You have your type, your cell. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff to have to worry about on this or things that need to go wrong. Always just plug the battery in according to the little chart. You're gonna use the uh, balance lead for any kind of LiPo. Uh, you also have a three prong connector that is a standard servo in to do NICADs and nickel metal hydrides. Well guys, that actually gets the video all wrapped up on this little checker. Uh, if you're new here to Motion RC, please hit the subscribe button. We're getting close to 100,000. If you haven't heard of our company before, we are veteran owned. We have a 100% US customer service. You can call us on the phone and talk to us to get service on your parts. Uh, we have full part selections for most of our vehicles to where you can actually repair your RC equipment. And uh, this also goes for the EU customers. We have an EU warehouse and we have a US warehouse with customer service for both that you can pick up the phone and talk to a knowledgeable RC representative anytime you want right here at Motion RC. Until the next time, whether it's air, land or sea, you can get it right here at Motion RC. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.